Welcome to part 1 of Leon's SCED module. In this video, we will focus on the basic view of the module, in which you can create and expand schedule on multiple days. When you access SCED module, at the upper part of the screen, you will have the possibility to refresh the site, define the dates which will be visible on the main view, so the date, from and to. Then, you can use arrows to move one day to the past, one day to the future with the right arrow, or focus the view on the current date by clicking Now. Later on, you have Zoom In and Zoom Out option. So, with Zoom In option, you can see more details of your flight, and with Zoom Out, you can have a better overview for multiple days. You will also have the Publish button, possibility to change the time zone and make an import or export from the SSIM format. The export can be also done from the Excel file. You can also have different versions of the SCED, so based on the clients or based on seasons, for example. So, if you want to create a new version, just click on Create New Version, define the name, description and also the client and the version will be ready to use. In the three dots filter, you can define the preferred airport code and define if you would like to see reservations and maintenances on the main screen. On the middle of the screen, you will be able to see the flights. The flights without a tail assigned will be visible in the upper part of the screen and the flights with tail assigned will be visible at the bottom part of the screen. If you would like to create a new schedule, you just need to click on the New Schedule button in the lower left corner of the screen. In here, you can select the dates from which the schedule should start. To date or limit of block hours. And you can select the aircraft, but this is not mandatory. Select rotation, so either the flight should repeat every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks. You can also define the ICAO type and add tags to provide some additional information. Then you need to pick out the dates on which the schedule will repeat. And at the bottom part, you can add the schedule themselves. So, starting from the flight number, you can also add aircraft identification number, time of departure, aircraft airport of departure, port of destination, time of arrival. You can also add alternative airports, distance and code share flight number, which can be visible in the SSIM or ASM messages which can be sent from the OPS module of Leon. You can also mark the box if the flight is a ferry flight. If you want to add more flights, you just need to click on the plus button. Here you will also have the possibility to select the day shift. So if the flight should be set on a different day, in this example, if you choose plus one, it will be set on the next day than the previous flight. If some flight is unnecessary, to remove it, you just need to click on the bin icon. And now when everything is prepared, you can add the schedule by clicking on the add schedule button.